Yo, what is up guys, Liam here, back with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Games, and today we are playing on the MCSG map, Alaskan Village, so let's get going into this game. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, oh, oh, double, ooh, sword, we got a sword. Alright, I really don't like this map that much, so let's just hope for the best here. And this guy looks like he's gonna chase me, nope. Yeah, my route kind of blows on this map, I need to look into finding a new one. But, uh, let's get into today's episode. Tell, so, in today's episode, I actually thought I'd tell a story about myself. I haven't really given you guys much information about who I really am, like, stories and stuff. And that's pretty much what I wanted my channel to be about, considering the fact that I'm doing this over with the summer because I'm bored and seeing if it could carry out school. Yeah, just whatever. So, here's a story about me that I'd like to give you guys. And this story takes place when I was six. Alright, so, um, you have to just keep in mind throughout the story that I was six. I didn't really know what I was doing was, like, wrong, but, I mean, I did it anyway. So, basically, here's what happened. Uh, it's about Christmas time, you know, like, a week before, uh, school was just released and everything. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, he's got a weapon. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't as hard as I imagined. Um, so, school was just released. And it was like December 16th, 17th, and uh, my family and a few of uh, some other families who we met through church went to like a hotel for like a weekend getaway or whatever. And it like wasn't a big deal. Yeah, it just wasn't a big deal. Like one night stay, just, you know, an overnight getaway. So we're at the hotel and we're on like the 15th floor or something like that. Pretty high up. It's a big hotel, by the way. It, it's here in my own town, which I'm not gonna say on camera. So, uh, ooh, that's kind of bad. No chest plate. But, um, we're on like the 15th floor, and like the parents are like talking in their room, having like wine or whatever. So, there's like five of us kids, and we're all boys, so like we're all like six year olds. We're really energetic and like rowdy and stuff. I want to see if I can kill the guy in this home. Oh, he doesn't have much. I thought I need a better chest plate. That's what I'm really looking for. Oh, oh. And okay, we got him pretty easy. That was that wasn't hard. Also, oh, there's a junk out. All right, let's go grab the tier two on the bill. Uh, boo. So anyway, <clears throat> the the pants are like stay on the floor. No, don't, don't go too far. So we're on the floor, right? And there's obviously the, the hotel elevator, since it's like the 15th floor of modern day hotel, there are elevators. There's like a mo- uh, there's um, like a wooden table by the elevators. This is a 2-2 by the way, which provided the better chest plate, but not that much better. So, oh. Some of that junk out. So, by the elevators, there's a wooden table, and this table has a white bowl on it and a plant, and inside the white bowl, there's three apples. They, you know, it's just there for, like, decoration, and the apples were real, too. Okay, we got them. Yeah, the apples were real, too, like, I mean, getting into the story, you'll, you'll see what's going on. So, I think we played a hallway soccer with one of the apples, which, I mean, we were sick, so we thought it was, like, the funniest thing in the world. When it was actually just creating big disruption for the best of guests in the hotel. And, uh, we were just messing around with that. I think the other apple, we, like, just split apart and ate. I mean, it, they were real apples, too. And it wasn't, like, spoiled or anything. But then the third one is... Oh, oh, oh. Yes, get that on my skin. And then the third apple, we decide... Oh, oh, that's a tier two. Yeah. Um, so the third apple, we decided to, uh, like, split apart. There were, like, maybe 15 pieces or so. And what we would do is we would call the elevator to the 15th floor by hitting the button. And then when they got to our floor, we would throw one of the apple chunks at them. And we were sick, so we thought it was, like, the funniest thing, you know? Just throwing apple slices at people, it did not get any better than that. And then what happened was, I gotta speed the story up to make it in time for the deathmatch. So then what happened was, uh, like, I didn't know what a noise complaint was. So they called the cops, and then what the cops did was, they first talked to all of the fathers, 
and told them like what we had been doing and stuff. And then the cops came to me and my friends and they told us to sit in a room for about two hours and we and they basically told us just to watch the simpsons they turned on the tv said watch this i knew it was the simpsons because i recognized the yellow people but i didn't really like know any of the characters and i didn't really understand what was going on so i was just sitting there bored for about two hours and that was technically my first encounter with the law i mean the cops didn't write down my name or anything hey, let's just get a shot on this guy before a death match i saw those golden uh apple particles on him um hmm Hey, that guy only has a wood sword. I like that. That guy is going to shoot at me. So, I'm going to fall back. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, no. Am I getting teamed upon here? Uh, I hope to say it ain't so, but it might be so. Um, they don't seem to be fighting each other. Uh, yeah, this really blows. I wanted to get a good recording out. Yeah, this really stinks. I, I'm not gonna fight a team of two in deathmatch who has better gear than me. Okay, let's just light some people on fire. Oh, no, wait, they're not a team. They're not a team. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Now we got this. Now we got this. That just went from zero to hero it's so fast. Yeah, there we go. That's the ending you guys wanted to see. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of MCSG. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!